Barnes, Brunson, Achua, Matherin, and Barnes again. These guys are all on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today. It is Monday, February 26th. We're talking about FanDuel. We're going to do it after this. But first, like, subscribe, notification bell. Follow me on Twitter at Josh Engelman. And then the biggest thing you could do, sign up at Stochastic. Whether you're looking for projections, ownership, our top stacks tool, our boom bust tool, our sims, our contest generator, our lineup generator, our premium discord, whatever you're looking for on the DFS side, we've got you covered. Links below in the description. Jaden Ivey in at number five, point guard, shooting guard eligible, 6,400 projected for 27 and a half. The goal's 31, he's in the winning lineup 29% of the time. Now this is a terrible spot. It's paced down against a good Knicks team, but Ivey's out there for 32 minutes a night and he's certainly looking for his own shot. 17 points on 24% usage, three and a half boards, three and a half assists, a stock and a half. He's around a 0.9 fantasy point per minute guy, but if this game stays close, you happen to think Jaden Ivey could have something to do with it. Josh Harden at number four, small forward, power forward eligible, 6,900, projected for 31. The goal is 33. He's in the winning lineup 29% of the time. 38 minutes for Hart. He just doesn't stop playing big minutes. He's got the good side of this matchup taken on the Pistons. Pace up, bad team in general. 12 points, eight boards, four and a half assists, plus a stock and a half. You get an MPE across both forward positions. The price tag certainly works for the amount of minutes he's going to play. Just feels like a steady hand on a four game slate. Not entirely sure he's gonna play today, but if he does, Terry Rozier looks good. Point guard only, 6K, projected for 30. The goal is 30, winning lineup 33% of the time. No Jimmy Butler here, potentially missing some other guys due to suspensions and injuries. There's no Josh Richardson either. So if we can get Rozier back, I think it stands out. 16 and a half points on 25% usage, almost five assists, almost four rebounds, little over a stock. He's a fantasy point per minute guy in a matchup against a not that great Sacramento Kings defense, and it's a pace up spot for Miami. We just need him to play. Keegan Murray in at number two, small forward, power forward eligible, 5,500 projected for 28. The goal is 28. He's in the winning lineup 42% of the time. I'm a big fan of Murray today. It is this matchup against Miami, which is paced down. They do play slow, but I like where his minutes have been lately. 15 points, five boards, an assist and a half, and a stock and a half. It's going to be around 0.8 fantasy points per minute. That stands out to me at 5,500. Finally, my number one contender for today is going to be Emmanuel Quickly. Point guard, shooting guard eligible, 6,900, projected for 34. The goal is 33. He's in the winning lineup 47% of the time. I went 33 minutes. He's a fantasy point per minute guy and he gets a matchup against the Pacers who play fast and don't play defense. 19 points, six assists, four rebounds, and a steal, four quickly. You can use them across both guard positions, sub 7K price tag, everything is coming up a manual quickly today. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Monday, February 26th. DraftKings version around here somewhere. Check it out, everybody. Good luck. Win some money. We're back again tomorrow morning for another edition of The Contenders.